Now here's an example just showing the use of Snell's law. If a light ray traveled from air into glass with an incident angle of 58 degrees, what would be the angle of refraction? Well, it's a good idea to draw a diagram, so we'll just draw a rectangle for the piece of glass. And let's draw an incident light ray coming in with an incident angle of 58 degrees. And you don't have to measure this exactly to do the calculation, but let's just draw it to get a, a visual picture. So this is I right here, this angle. And we know that I is equal to 58 degrees. And I'll go ahead and draw the refracted ray. This refracted angle down here, R, I don't know. But I do know this. I know that Ni times the sine of I is going to equal Nr times the sine of R. And Ni and Nr are the indices of refraction. Now what are those? Well, Ni is the index of refraction for air because the incident ray is in air. That's 1.00. In R is the index of refraction for the glass because the refracted ray is in the glass and the index of refraction for glass is 1.52. So those are the numbers that I'll use and I'm trying to find R. Now I can't find R directly but algebraically I can solve for sine R. So I just divide both sides by in R and I get this. Sine of angle R equals Ni times the sine I over Nr. I've just taken this equation and rearranged it algebraically to get that. Now I can put in all the numbers on the right hand side and I get a value for sine of R. So Ni, what is Ni? The index of refraction where the incident ray is. That's 1.00. Now sine of I, what is that? Well, I is 58 degrees, so this is 1.00 times the sine of 58 degrees over in R. And what is in R? That's the index of refraction where the refracted ray is, 1.52. And make sure your calculator is set in degrees. Type in the sine of 58. You don't have to do times 1 because that will still be the same number. Divide by 1.52 and you get 0.5579. Now that's not your answer. What you just found was the sine of R. And sine of R is 0.5579. We have to find R. If the sine of R is 0.5579, then R will be the inverse sine of 0.55. Oh, and that should be a 7.9 right there, 0.5579. So R is the inverse sine of 0.5579. And you punch that into the calculator, and it comes out to 33.9 degrees. And that's the angle of refraction that we were trying to find.